Welcome to our channel, friends, in this video we will inform you about the Danamandaran Nature Park, located in SLVR, on the European side of Istanbul. In this content, you can find answers to many questions such as where is Danamandara, how to go, entrance fees and camping, picnic activities. You can also support us by subscribing to our channel. Danamandara is a picnic and recreation area covered with oak forests and reeds in Danamandara village of Salivri district in Istanbul. It is a nature park where Istanbulites breathe especially on weekends. Dandandara, with its pond, lotus flowers, reeds and migratory birds, it has recently managed to attract many visitors. There is a wooden pier on the pond. Rented and operated by the Essenir municipality, Danamandara Lake is one of the beauties of Istanbul that offers you the unique beauties of nature and allows you to have a picnic and trekking. You can spend time with nature in Danamandara Nature Park, where daily trips, picnics, camping, photography, landscape watching and nature sports can be done. This pond, which is crowded on weekends due to its proximity to Katalka and Salivri, is quieter on weekdays. You can do your shopping in the village before you come to the area. Is it forbidden to light a fire in Danamandara Nature Park? Since there are many tables and it is free to light a fire, an area where picnickers flock, telephone and internet attracts at every point of the area. Toilets are clean but no shower area. Asterisk there is a beautiful walking area in the nature park. You can have a pleasant walk among the oak trees in the forest. And you can catch wonderful sunset poses at the pier for those who like to take pictures. Deciduous trees form the forest area of Danamandara Nature Park. In addition, Kukakakmas Lake and Bayakakmas Lake are known as breeding and accommodation areas for migratory birds. There are reeds and water lilies in the pond and you can often come across the dance of birds. Is camping prohibited in Danamandara Nature Park? While camping and angling were allowed in the past, restrictions have been imposed for a while recently, and they only serve for day trips. In the past, there was a camp, but later we got information that it was prohibited. What to do in Danamandara Nature Park? Danamandara Lake is in the first place for one-day picnics and barbecues. It is preferred as a picnic area because there are areas where you can light a fire. There are plenty of fountains, toilets and tables in the picnic area. While you enjoy nature with a picnic, your children can run around on the grass and have a pleasant time in the playground. You can take beautiful photos on the wooden platform on the pond and take pleasant walks around the pond. It is also a suitable place for bird watching as it is located on the route of migratory birds migrating from Siberia, Russia. Danamandara Nature Park Entrance Fee Entrance to Danamandara Nature Park is paid and the fee list is determined by the General Directorate of Nature Conservation and National Parks. In Danamandara Nature Park, there are toilets, places of worship, pier, picnic areas, scenic viewing areas, walking track and suitable areas for nature sports activities. Picnic fee is not required in Danamandara Nature Park. Anyone who pays the entrance fee can benefit from all the facilities. Danamandara Nature Park 2023 entrance fees are as follows. Full entrance fee per person, 21 Turkish Liras. Discounted entrance fee per person, 11 Turkish Liras. Entry fee by bike, 21 Turkish Liras. Entry fee with ATV and motorcycle, 45 Turkish Liras. Entrance fee with pickup truck, car and pickup, 65 Turkish Liras. Entrance fee by minibus, 190 Turkish Liras. Midibus entrance fee, 315 Turkish Liras. Entrance fee by bus, 630 Turkish Liras. 
where is Danamandaran Nature Park and how to go. The distance of Danamandaran Nature Park to the city center of Istanbul is 100 kilometers. It is located 35 kilometers from Silivri Town Center, where it is located within the borders of Danamandaran Nature Park. It is also possible to easily reach Danamandaran Nature Park by using public buses or with your own vehicle. To reach by public transport, you can take the Binkilik, Katalka public buses with the line number 402. You can reach Danamandara district by public buses, but you will have to walk or take a taxi because the distance between Danamandara Nature Park and Danamandara district is 3 kilometers. However, taxis are not always available, so do not forget to take this into consideration before traveling with public bus. To provide transportation with your own vehicle, if you want to reach Danamandaran Nature Park with your own vehicle, after leaving the Katalka junction of the Anatolian Highway, E80, via the old Kirklareli Istanbul Road, you can reach Danamandaran neighborhood by passing the sub asi isenaik routes. It will reach the Danamandaran Nature Park, which is located on the southwest side of the Danamandara district. Google comments of visitors on Danamandara and Nature Park. The place is very beautiful, but the maintenance is zero, flies and insects, the ponds are in disrepair. It is a very nice pleasant place with dense trees. Entrance fee per person is 21 TL, vehicle entrance is 65 TL. Nice place if cleaning is done and not forbidden at 9 AM. A wonderful green area, ideal for resting, with relatively few visits by people. Vehicle entrance is 65 TL, there is no place to put a vehicle, there is a concrete road for one vehicle, mosquitoes are exploiting you because of the lake, it is a bad place that requires separate money for wash basins that are far from everywhere. It was very nice, there is a toilet, and a mosque. Try it you won't regret it. We said let's go and enjoy the nature hello with our cousins, but we came across the organization of an association and our heads swelled, but it was still good. The nature is wonderful, the wash basins are clean, there is a prayer room, the only thing missing is a market, the children's park is sufficient, the toilets are clean, the picnic area is suitable. Yes friends, we have come to the end of a video. Do not forget to leave your questions and suggestions about this undiscovered natural beauty in the comments section. You can also thank us by subscribing to our channel. We wish everyone a good time.